it's just an update on the power meter in case you're wondering how I'm getting on with troubleshooting this one here well I decided that for the cost of another set of strain gauges that I would go and make a second one and this is on the original crank that came with the bike and I thought that um, building the, a second one would help me to understand what's going on. The build process for this one was actually surprisingly easy. Um, I did it very carefully and uh, once I got the amplifier powered up I just had to balance the Wheatstone bridge and it's now putting out a reasonably steady reading. So I'm just about to put it onto the bike and do the calibration. And uh, I will then move on to explaining a few things that are different about these two. Um, one of them is the resistors that I've used on this amplifier. They are actually the same as the resistors I used on the original one. On this one I had to use different ones because I didn't have enough resistors of the right value. Um, so I'm just about to go into the details about how that's changed things. Here's the result of the calibration and as we'd expect because the gain of the amplifier has been reduced but the design of the crank is the same and the, so is the position of the strain gauges we have to change this value from an 8 to a 6.55 and that means we get the uh, resolution now down to about 150 grams which is very similar to the very first power meter that I made I think that was around about 140 which is kind of interesting because that had a completely different crank design so it obviously means the amount of flex must be fairly similar between the two cranks the other thing that shows that the gain has in fact decreased is this graph here which I created by putting different resistors across the bridge and as we can see the usable range the Arduino can pick up so that's between the amplifier's minimum output and the maximum that the ADC can read we've got 1.32 millivolts and on the other power meter we've got 1.86 now when I looked at these graphs I got a little confused because as you can see this one shows that an increasing voltage means that the output of the amplifier decreases and then what I discovered and I had to think about this was that actually I had inverted the voltage so I had measured from white to green instead of green to white so in fact the graph should actually look something like this so we have still got an increase in voltage results in increasing output we're just working instead of between like 0.5 to 1.5 we're working between like minus three and a half to minus one and a half I'm guessing that it has something to do with the resistors used to set the amplifier's gain but I will know for sure when I change the gain on this power meter I'm going to reduce it a bit but for the moment I'm going to get the code uploaded to this with the value changed that I've calculated from the calibration I'm currently sharing the LiPo pack here because it's actually the most expensive part of these power meters and I'm currently just trying to decide whether it's worth swapping these chain rings around they're actually different sizes or whether it's actually easier just to change a few values in the auto shifter code instead the other thing that was different was the Arduinos and uh, so that would narrow down perhaps if it was a regulator issue for example with different Arduinos um, they is slightly different there's different clones um, and actually it turns out I discovered when I was playing around with the resistors on the amplifier that this one, the regulator here, 5 volt regulator, has in fact gone bad. It's putting out 6 volts now. I was wondering why after putting the resistors on it worked fine for a little bit and then it all went wrong. Um, so maybe that was an issue. Maybe the regulator on this, perhaps it didn't like being connected up to the USB and the VN pin supply at the same time so somehow it's gone bad so in fact I'm gonna to have to use an identical Arduino clone to the one that I've got in the other power meter 
Here's some data from a 10 mile ride. This is the latest power meter that I made, not the one I'm about to replace the Arduino in. But despite the 19 watt difference in the averages, I'm actually really pleased with this data. So it appears from what I can see here, the issue is to do with the calibration, not the fact that it's staying zeroed out properly. And you can see that here, for example, at low power, it's pretty near, um, but the error gets bigger the higher the power is. So that suggests it's a calibration issue. So my parameter is the blue and the Garmin is the red. So that I'm pretty happy with that so far. It looks all right. So hopefully I can get the other parameter up to the same standard once I get the Arduino replaced. But to be honest, data like this is perfectly adequate for the automatic shifter. However, I am planning to one day get the auto shifter to take data from a real professional power meter. And so it's nice to have the values in proper watts rather than just a value. Um, but that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.